Hello, welcome back to Revender in Sports. And an interesting question for my viewers. I own a Wahoo Roam. And um, the other day I went out for a ride and within the first six minutes of the ride, my battery power had gone down like 8%. And now I am 34 minutes into this ride and I still have 100%. So I'm curious if this has happened to you and what did you do to fix it? So the only thing I did was I plugged it in much longer than normal and uh, you know, while I was at work, so basically an eight hour shift, but I don't know. I mean, that's kind of the first time that that's happened. And as you can see, it's 35 rolling time. So probably total, cause there was a few traffic lights. So I'd say we're pretty close to 40 minutes of total time and it's still reading 100%. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know that I am a big fan of the Wahoo computers because their battery life is insane. And this, when it's new, claims a 17 hour battery life. Now, just last weekend, I did a 114 mile ride on Saturday. And that was uh, six hours rolling. We had some people that we wanted to spend time with. So we had some stops, let's call it eight hours. Then the next day I did a coffee ride. 35 mile ride, sat for coffee for probably 45 minutes to an hour. So let's call that another four or five hours. And then on Tuesday morning, did another, uh, was it 45, 46 mile ride. So another three hours plus coffee. And it still had 11% battery life still had 11% battery life. So, you know, I, I can't do the math right now. Eight, four, four. I mean, that's like 16 hours. It still had 11 hours. I'm sorry, 11% battery life. So, and look, this whole time I've been talking, it still hasn't clicked down from 100%. So question now is, <laughs> <laughs> were you lying to me then or are you lying to me now because <laughs> I still got 100% battery life anyway we're on this road called Quest Haven and if you know about the Belgian waffle ride BWR this this is one of the last climbs of the day you come through a dirt uh, one mile segment you hit this, Quest Haven, and then you end up on Double Peak. And, you know, 15, 20% grades on Double Peak. But this is Quest Haven. This is a video about the Wahoo Bolt. I'm sorry, the Wahoo Roam. And I guess a little bit of history. I've had this Wahoo Roam for about uh, at least a year. And it's still giving me fantastic battery life. And of course, one of the things that I think makes it so battery efficient is it doesn't have all color screens. It doesn't have a bunch of other stuff, you know? And some people like that. They like to have a color screen. I, I don't mind a monochromatic mono screen because all I care about is the data. I don't care how pretty it looks, but anyway, great day to be out on a bike. I would say low 70s and quiet road, no cars. And oh, by the way, San Diego, San Diego is a very heavily populated road. I'm sorry, town. You know, we got a couple of million, I think, if you include the suburbs. So for us, this is a big deal to find 
a road like this, shaded in some sections. My Wahoo messages are going off, so that's what that little chime is. So I'm gonna lead you into the steep climb that's coming. And that, <laughs> I will probably need two hands on the handlebars, so I'll try to film a little bit. But it's 13, 15%. Right now we're about three to four, five percent and slowly ramping up. Let me see if I can get the grade. Yeah, so about four-ish percent. And we're gonna start, once we make this left turn, the, uh, it's funny cause the segment's called the wall. And I don't know, you tell me, as soon as we make this left turn, what do you think? So once again, we're on Quest Haven. This hill is featured on BWR, Belgian Waffle Ride. They just had one in North Carolina, by the way. And it will then continue and summit on Double Peak. So here we go. I'll see how much of this I can film with one hand. So we're at nine, 10 already, 11. Oh, look at that. There's a rider up ahead. 14, 15%. So unfortunately, even though I, I'm out kind of on a coffee ride, I have to keep my power up just to keep the pedals turning. There's the pedals turning. Now, I might as well add a little cycling tip while we're at it. So you see the inside corner where that parking, no parking sign is? That's the steepest grade. So if you can flare out to the center line, obviously safety first, so you don't take the brunt of that stupid steep section. And you could be over here where it's only 13, 14%. 16%. And this is kind of what it's like riding where my shop is. We're really only a, a few miles away. Oh, look at that. Got some more folks. Usually there's nobody out here. Look at that. <laughs> Still 100%. I don't know. Take a look around at the view. And we're gonna catch up to some folks here. Are any of you related to Kenny Souza? Oh, okay, because you parked right in front of his house and he has a Richie just like that. Oh, really? Yes. So yeah, he has a Richie just like that and you parked literally in front of his house. Yes. So I'm like, well, maybe that's his son. I haven't seen him in like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, did you go down that way? Yeah. Here, there's, there's some more. Well, yeah, if you go back down this hill and turn left, yeah. that's where the dirt is. Oh, see. This is all paved. Yeah. There's not going to be any dirt up here. I do this. You're supposed to turn it off on the trails too, I think. Which one? Uh, I don't know. Okay. It was, like, it was like the Belgian waffle, like free ride. Right. Ride or something they found online. Yeah. Just following the route. Yeah. Okay. We don't have a ton of time for it. Yeah, I know. I read Redact Quest statement. That's a cool dirt too. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. 
Well, that's it for today. You know what to do, like and subscribe. We'll see you up the road.